The privately owned Queensboro Bridge trolley continued to soldier on. From Queens Plaza on Long Island to Second Avenue in Manhattan, it ran only a couple of miles, but what a ride. It was easily the most scenic ride in the city, with a broad, clear view up and down the East River and a breathtaking panorama of the city skyline when lights came on in the evening. It ranked with a ride on the Staten Island Ferry or a trip to the top of the Empire State Building as a tourist attraction. Westbound over the bridge, the first stop was at the elevator descending to Vernon Boulevard on the Queen's side. The second at the elevator down to Welfare, now Roosevelt Island. Both were on the north side. The inner tracks of the lower deck were found unnecessary and removed in 1919, the same year the 3rd Avenue stopped running. After 1960, all trolley cars used the outer tracks. In 1939, all cars were discontinued over this band, except the bridge local. Eastbound car approaching Vernon Boulevard Station. Eastbound car descending the bridge on the Queen's side and leaving the bridge at Queen's Plaza South on 24th Street. Where it came to earth in Long Island City, the bridge generated intense industrial development. But it overlapped a number of magnificent houses in the Hunters Point area, which have been preserved today as historic monuments. Westbound car heading for the bridge approach. 